Now, by this time, you've most likely heard the news already, Everyday Struggle is officially cancelled. Not literally, because the show is technically still running, but Joe Budden is not on the show anymore, so you could say that the show will never be the same again. And it's gotten to the point where one of their recent episodes of the show Everyday Struggle only has about 300 likes and 3000 dislikes, and the video is flooded with comments about how they should bring Joe back. But on the other hand, Joe Budden's YouTube channel has gained over 17,000 subscribers in less than 48 hours so you can definitely say that numbers don't lie but there is something that we need to talk about and that is the key reasons as to why Joe Budden decided to walk away from everyday struggle in the first place so the first two reasons are that complex didn't appreciate what Joe actually brought to the table and Joe was not compensated enough for the work he put in now what does these reasons right here tell us exactly well first of all let's ask this question why was everyday struggle successful in the first place and I have a one word answer for this question right here, dynamics. Now let's get some facts straight really quick. Everyday Struggle was not successful because of the platform the show was on. Everyday Struggle could have been ran on DJ Academics YouTube page and not complex and still been a success. And that's 100% facts. The value of Everyday Struggle was in the energy between DJ Academics and Joe Budden. And that's why the show was so exciting and attracted so many different people and got so much attention. And complex not appreciating what Joe Budden brought to the table is extremely clear because they kind of wanted to control him. Joe Budden spoke about a situation on his podcast and it was interesting but a bad situation to say the least. And this is what that situation was all about. So Spotify approaches Complex about inserting a specific topic on the show Everyday Struggle for Joe to talk about. And the topic is regarding one of the biggest if not the biggest hip hop playlists on Spotify called Rap Caviar. You've most likely seen it on Spotify's browsing page and the compensation for Joe was going to be in his own words, very little money. And of course, as the star and as the creator of the show, that was a big problem for Joe Budden and of course he declined. But here's the big problem. Complex told Joe Budden that they would proceed without him, meaning that they didn't really even need his permission to begin with. Meaning they didn't really even ask him because they needed him to give them a green light on it. To put it simple, Complex didn't give a damn about what Joe had to say as the creator of the show, but unfortunately, or should I say luckily, the relationship between Complex and Spotify got ruined because Spotify decided to pull back since they saw that Joe Budden really wasn't with the idea and that Complex wanted to proceed without him. In the words of Joe Budden, I cannot create a show when you sell the property of that show without cutting a slice to the people that made that show possible. And the next reason Joe left is because Complex did not see Joe Budden's vision. Now Complex is a multi-million dollar company sponsored by huge corporations like Verizon, so their goal is not to build something authentic that relates to the culture. Although Everyday Struggle was very authentic and did really relate to the culture, what I'm saying is Complex ultimate goal is not to build something of that stature. Now Joe Budden on the other hand is a person with a lot of knowledge surrounding the music industry. He knows all the good things about the industry and all the bad things about the industry. Now the angle Joe Budden always approached Everyday Struggle from was keep it blunt and keep it real. Joe Budden did not work with Complex to do Everyday Struggle because he wanted to add some numbers to his bank account. It's honestly quite the opposite. Joe Budden saw the opportunity of jumping on a show and creating a show like Everyday Struggle with a big corporation like Complex to actually bring something to the culture and add value to all the relevant hip hop discussions that go on every day. So what Complex wanted to do and what Joe wanted to do were two extremely different things and they both had different goals in mind. One example is guests. I did not build and create this show to talk to guests every day. I hate guests. That's what Joe Budden said on his recent podcast that dropped on his channel and as we all know various people that came to the show as guests were a lot of big names and big names obviously means a lot of clicks and a lot of clicks obviously means more money as Joe himself states on his podcast complex were heavily invested in how the numbers affected the view count of the show and this obviously conflicts with Joe's purpose and what he was trying to do on everyday struggle to keep a 100 with you I started watching everyday struggle because of DJ academics but I definitely stayed because of Joe Budden Rest in peace to Everyday Struggle and hopefully Joe Budden and DJ Academics keep their head up through everything that's going on right now. But what's your personal opinion on Joe Budden leaving Complex? Do you think that the reasons that I talked about were good reasons to walk away? And what do you think is going to happen to the show now? Drop your thoughts and opinions on everything that I talked about in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This channel is all about bringing together people like you who enjoy music and start a discussion on different topics like this. And of course, like the video. 
if you enjoyed it, follow me on Twitter at Blackie Speaks, and I'm out.